so hello everybody it's been a while since I've done a video um, some things have happened uh, over the last couple weeks that have really really kind of set me back a little bit um, maybe a couple weeks ago I was outside walking my dog and I slipped and fell on the ice outside um, in front of where I live and I hit my head really hard against the ground and the against the ice. And immediately when I got up, I knew something was wrong. The uh, left side of my arm was really messed up and my neck was stiff and my head was hurting so bad. And actually, when I actually fell to the ground and hit my head, um, I could feel my head hit so hard against the back of the cement. So after that happened, I felt pain radiate all through my face and I could not get up right away. When I finally did get up, I was really, really messed up and my head was messed up. So fast forward, next day I go to the, to the emergency room and I was fine for the most part. And then I had some triggers, things that trigger my anxiety, but mostly I think it was the fact that I had the bump on my head that caused the concussion and that caused some problems with my anxiety. So what happened was that I had a really bad anxiety attack while I was at the emergency room and I was feeling very, very awful because it was something that has not happened to me for a long time and I was caught off guard by it. It was very scary and I equate it to the hit on my head, but also the trigger um, that caused it to fluctuate the way that it did. But since then, I have been trying to get my footing and get well, which is why I haven't been putting that many videos up lately. You know, people out there with OCD and anxiety, you know how hard it is. But I haven't been feeling well at all. And... If you're on this journey, you know that there are ebbs and flows. You have to take the good with the bad. Because I always say it's a journey and right now I don't feel well. But I know that I have felt so good at so many times in my life for long lengths of time. I know that this is just a part of the ebbs and flows of not only... OCD and anxiety, but life, right? You fall down and you get up. And I'm in a lot of pain because of my OCD. It's like that fall, like, kind of snowballed downward for me. And I'm trying to, to just do what's necessary to be on the journey for wellness. But you know, it's as a person with OCD, when you are when you are going through it, and you have obsessions, and then you have your compulsions and rituals that you're doing, which never make it much better. There's a sense of, or there's a, a place of being uncomfortable that you have to be in to get and feel really well. And I'm trying to be in that place. So people stay with me. Stay with the journey. I'm still eating right. I'm still trying to eat well and still trying to maintain my diet and all of the things that I was talking about in the previous video when I talked about the cleanse that I did last month. So that has, I think, helped me greatly in dealing with what I'm dealing with at this moment. And I can't really talk details because it's just too much. But if you have OCD and anxiety, you know. You know about the ebbs and flows. You know how you know how it hurts. You know how deeply it can hurt. <laughs> and that's where I'm at right now. I'm 
in a lot of pain. <sighs> but I um I want to still be here telling you about my journey. So that's why I decided to do this. But I just want anyone who's suffering out there to know that even though I don't have any great antidotes right now except for stay diligent about being well, all I can say is that if you ever feel alone, you can know that I know exactly how you feel. You are not alone. I know the pain of it all. I know about the horrible obsessions and the the compulsions and the rituals and how you feel so horribly broken. <laughs> so horribly broken. <laughs> but you fall and you get up. That's what you gotta do. So I will talk to you all in the next video and keep you updated. Just again, stay with me on the journey. And if you have any antidotes for me right now, well, please leave them in the comments. And also, if you want to join this journey and be here with me, helping each other, just like and subscribe and come back. Okay. I will talk to you all next time. Bye.